If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mine. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, new one percent. It's your boy, Satoshi Boomin, coming at you with yet another Cardano update, guys. Thank you for everybody that's been hitting that like button, that's been leaving comments down below. If you guys can leave my four five comments down below, let's get some engagement on this video. I really appreciate it. We're talking about Ada. I got my coffee locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started, guys. So we have input output here. Great little small video, about 45 seconds, 50 seconds. We're going to be talking about the Ada Yield Fund. Remember, there's lots of money pouring into the Cardano ecosystem. Wave Financial recently made a big VC donation to the Cardano ecosystem in order to support DeFi. Last week marked the launch of the Ada Yield Fund, a new initiative to support Cardano DeFi ecosystem growth. We invited Wave Financial David Symer on the Cardano 360 to tell us how this fund will support new DEXs, lending protocols, and stablecoin issuers. Let's take a quick look, guys. Hi, I'm David Seamer, uh, founder and CEO of Wave Financial. Wave is an SEC registered wealth and asset management platform. We are the managers of C Fund, uh, the early stage ecosystem fund uh, designed to support ADA focused companies uh, at the earliest stage. Uh, now we're very excited to launch this new vehicle called the Wave ADA Yield Fund. The purpose of this fund is to support a lot of those same companies plus other ones uh, that are building decentralized finance applications. So obviously when those companies need support the most is at the earliest stage when they're first launching and that's what we're here for. Uh, we, you know, our goal is to fill up the TBL of those platforms, make sure there's a good user experience, the trade pairs are robust, there's always someone to trade against. Um, so it's kind of a continuation of our support from this from C Fund at the earliest stage. So this fund is already a nine-figure vehicle. It's going to continue to grow uh, pretty rapidly, and we're really excited to be the managers here. So that's pretty cool, guys. Um... You know, I don't Hi, think I'm there's David any Seymour, other blockchain other C than Bitcoin or Ethereum that has this much resources pouring into it. I mean, I'm sure there's some like Solana and others, but I mean, we have the treasury system. We have a voting system, Project Catalyst. Voltaire isn't even all built out yet. We have so uh, large community. I don't see a way that Cardano can be stopped. And I know I sound like a shell. I know I sound like a Cardano maxi, but I don't give a damn. All right, Cardano is here to take over. And we're growing each and every day, guys. So don't forget it. Don't let an ETH Maxi tell you different. All right, guys. Let's move on. Thank you to OneCom, ticker symbol 1COMM. We really appreciate them for sponsoring the channel. Thank you to OneCom. Guys, please follow them on Twitter for updates, news, and notes. And also delegate to them as well. We support small stake pool operators on this channel. No big stake pools, no 1%, no none of that. All small stake pool operators, guys. Go ahead, support the Cardano ecosystem, and let's move on. Oh, this is pretty cool. Nearly a thousand projects are building on ADA as ecosystem flares with massive activity. I keep telling you guys, all right, it's coming, Cardano is exploding and we will get to where we need to get to eventually it's just going to take time and it's going to take a little bit of patience with the hydra upgrade fast approaching cardano community has been focusing on ensuring steady growth and system enhancement cardano which is currently in the basho phase whose goal is creating an optimized ecosystem to support and foster the development of decentralized applications has already considerable growth with nearly a thousand projects building on Cardano so far. And it's going to keep growing, guys. Don't think that this is the end. NFT projects are obviously the biggest, about 49% of the Cardano ecosystem. As creators and users bet on the blockchain's promising stellar performance, American rapper Snoop Dogg has been the latest sensation in Cardano NFTs. With the singer partnering with Clay Nation to bring iconic NFTs to the network. And as we can see, here is the breakdown of the projects building on Cardano here. 
like I said earlier, about 47% are building NFTs. The second biggest is community and social projects. Third biggest is wallets. And then I think we have metaverse NFT marketplaces. So it's just expanding and growing at a rapid rate. And it's going to keep doing it as well. Um, as more users pivot towards projects that allow interoperability between blockchains, Cardano's been upping its game on this subject. After launching the KEVM program earlier this year, Cardano's already making inroads with cross-chain compatibility. In late March, Milk Amada has launched. And now you can stack, stake, and chill on both the Ethereum and Cardano blockchain, guys. So, Cardano just keeps growing. And it's going to keep growing. And we're just going to keep stacking, staking, and chilling. That's all I got, guys. I don't got nothing else. I don't got no fancy TA charts. All right? I'm not going to do fake TA. None of that. All right? We're just going to keep growing. We're going to keep stacking, staking, and chilling. We're going to laugh all the way to the bank. Simple as that. Moving on jpeg.store all right now we talked about them a long time ago matter of fact before we get to the updates let's let's do a little quick little update on jpeg.store this is if you don't know and you're not an og i understand a long time ago we broke down this marketplace here it's an nft marketplace there's a lot of cool assets here these boss cat nfts are very expensive um matter of fact let me see what's the highest price thing on here rollsroyce.com ada handle that's okay so they got some ada handles here that are very expensive I don't know why people are listing their ADA handles for so much, but it is what it is. Um, space babes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So anyway, jpeg.store, uh, pretty cool NFT marketplace. If I do say so myself, they've up optimized their smart contract fees. So listing updating buying selling all that stuff is going to be 50 percent less all right so that's pretty much the news guys so go ahead and take a look at jpeg.store got some pretty cool nfts here um let's see how much a pavia plot here costs now obviously some of these are very inflated you know let's see low to high Lowest Pavia plot, 324. So the floor is 324 Pavia on here. So you could have made a lot of money. You could make some decent money flipping these Pavia plots. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Moving on. And lastly, guys, speaking of Pavia here, we have a short video uh, with the Pavia community manager. And he's going to be answering some of your questions. This came out a couple of days ago. So go ahead and subscribe to Pavia and let's take a listen to what he has to say. Questions and let's get into it. Is the surface of the world going to be all plain with exact right angles everywhere? A perfect yet unnatural checkboard. We want Pavia to feel completely natural. So we're exploring dynamic road widths and curved roads. Next question. Beyond the cool NFTs, what's the strategy behind the Cardano Kids acquisition? Well, as well as a cool artwork, they are a great proof of concept and they'll enable us to use tools within a controlled environment and there's also a lot of cool stuff coming too will pavia have to check to make sure someone is deploying a pca they own if it's associated with an nft good question if a pca is minted as an nft we'll use the chain to validate that ownership uh, before we deploy it in the pavia experience what is the pavia plaza and what are the advantages of having a property nearby the central plaza the plaza is the main spawn point uh, in Pavia, it's the first place that you drop and it's also going to contain a lot of exciting things so there's a lot of foot traffic going through there. Other than Pavs, will there be NPCs in Pavia? Good question. Uh, we're exploring a lot of options in Pavia which extend way beyond Pavs uh, and NPCs are definitely part of that conversation. What will the Pavs be used for? 
paths are a fun side project that you can catch instead of buy and when the game launches over time people will be able to add additional uses for them will you implement day and night cycles within pavia if so what would the duration of each day and night cycle be and will you implement weather really good question this is something that we definitely talk about a lot um, we've explored the idea of having just day a uh, day and night mode modes that you can toggle on and off um, modes that you can toggle you know if you're leading a party within pavia so there's lots to think about and we would actually love to hear you guys talk about it in the pips Will we be able to quickly make changes to our plot buildings or swap entire maps in plots we own? Will all objects be stationary or can we pick some up? We want to keep PCAs as simple as possible and you'll be able to save multiple scenes uh, which will allow you to edit and quickly replace PCAs effortlessly. Any idea when we can develop on land? Version 1 of the builder tool is right around the corner, it's coming out in Q2 um, and this will enable you to have a whole host of assets and scenes uh, ready for launch. Will this be a web based metaverse or can you only get it on other consoles? So the main experience will be downloadable on PC but there will also be other browser based elements that are not in the game um, and companion and mobile apps are also very likely too. Are you planning to let us use the C? We have some really cool ideas for the sea and the trees. Um, they're all subject to testing right now, but we think you'll be pleased. Can I build my own art gallery, Blender software, on my estate and sell my own NFTs? As long as your NFTs are compatible with our PCA guidelines, absolutely. When will we have the ability to rent out plots? This was raised as a pit by you guys, and it's a work in progress, but certainly when the game goes live. Can we have password protected plots and doors for projects that are meant to be exclusive? Yes, we are definitely exploring access control, and NFT ownership will be one of the primary mechanisms. Have you guys reached out to any artists to do an opening concert in the stadium when the game is launched? We have lots of cool stuff planned for the stadium, so watch this space. Will we be able to watch movies and browse the internet within Pavia? Plugins will definitely be a part of the Pavia experience, so if you wanted to have a home movie theatre or a drive-in movie, anything like that, you can make it happen. When will Pavia be showing some live gameplay? We are still in the prototyping and testing phase, and once we're confident of the in-game quality, then we'll start to showcase the plaza and other areas of the map. Will there be a levelling system with XP and rewards? This is something that we've thought about in great depth, and we're very keen to hear the community's take on it but it's definitely something that we're considering will there be an alpha slash beta test yes there will be early access for testing purposes um, and it's best to stay in the discord and keep up to date with all our announcements and that's it for this video thank you so much excellent pavia updates guys that's all i have for you today kind of a low-key uh type videos on this sunday i hope you guys have an amazing day guys and i will talk to you tomorrow again I know you love seeing this beautiful mug right here talking about some V-Chain and Cardano. So I will see you again tomorrow with the V-Chain and Cardano updates. I love you guys so much. Don't let your memes be dreams. Goodbye.